Bent over a patch of dry land, Beatrice Mwenda grips a hoy to break the saw outside a school in Chikankata district. A mother of 11, also caring for five dependents, Ms. Mwenda is one of the many engaged in landscaping work through the Cash for Work program, a lifeline, after she lost her crops to the drought. Ms. Mwenda says the program is now helping her buy food for the family. Mm. The cash for work is helping me with money to buy food for my family, especially after I lost all my capital, which I invested to grow maize and didn't harvest anything due to the drought. For Bonface Mudenda, 57, the cash for work program has been equally vital. Before this program, I didn't have any job. I now have access to some money to help my family with various needs. I commend government for this initiative. However, Ten Pike Ward Councillor Thomas Ngoma has expressed concern over delays in payments to workers under the program. We are appealing the government, the process is very slow. After working for 10 days, it takes for a month for the people to get their money. So we are appealing the government over the controlling officer to the, the smooth running of the payment. But Chikankata Town Council Public Relations Officer Namasi Kunjovu attributes the delays to difficulties with mobile money payments as some beneficiaries' details do not match those on their NRCs. We are trying by all means to engage the people to tell them, send us uh, the correct details, whatever contacts that you, um, or the numbers that you register in must be the ones on your NRCs. This has somehow contributed to the delay in the in the, in the uh, displacement of the payments of these uh, wages. So I would like to, first of all, even appeal to the people that we are engaging, starting from the grassroots, the World Development Committees, as they engage the people. We ask them that they should explain to the people as they register, let them make sure that the details they give us tally with um, uh, what information they have uh, with the mobile uh, companies. Ms. Njovu adds that the district has engaged 756 people across 14 wards and received 606,000 kwacha for the program aiming to support vulnerable residents like Ms. Mwenda and Ms. Tamdenda. Masauso Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Chikankata, Southern Province.